am leaving town in like three days and I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks. And so right now I'm kind of in the process of like eating whatever I already have. And then I'm gonna make some potatoes and the potatoes are like kind of the star of the show solely because I'm making very specific potatoes that I only even thought of the idea because of a dream I had the other day. Looking at these potatoes makes me want a fried egg. Ooh, perfect. That's good, that's really good. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, we are doing another little cooking video. It is dinner time. It's actually 7.15, which is a little late for me, but I'm cooking dinner right now. And I am leaving town in like three days and I'm gonna be gone for like two weeks. And so right now I'm kind of in the process of like eating whatever I already have. And so this is, uh, I mean, it's gonna be a delicious dinner, but it's just like what I already have. I didn't want to buy anything new, you know? And so what I'm making for dinner is a hot dog that I had in the freezer, these Hebrew National beef hot dogs. And I'm also going to have some potatoes and some carrots. And so I already chopped up the carrot and put it in the oven because that's gonna take a while. I literally just took a whole carrot, peeled it, chopped it into like six pretty big pieces and then put some olive oil, salt, put it in the oven and that's on 375 and I'm just guessing. I don't really know exactly the specific time to like roast a carrot, but I'm gonna do it at like 375 for at least a half hour and then just check them, see how that goes. And then I'm going to make probably two hot dogs to get some protein in and then I'm gonna make some potatoes and the potatoes <laughs> are like kind of the star of the show solely because I'm making very specific potatoes that I only even thought of the idea because of a dream I had the other day. And so I had a dream the other day that I was making food and that I was making kind of like hash browns or like home fries, like the little square potatoes. But you know how home fries are generally like this big? ish generally, I had a dream that I made like home fries, but with really, really, really tiny little pieces of potato. And then I was like, okay, I really need to do that. And so I already chopped up half of the potato, but I just wanna show you the rest of like my chopping process. And I just literally had a dream of like the tiniest little potatoes. And then I also chopped up some onion in a similar size and shape. And then I'm just gonna throw them on a pan with some olive oil and see what happens. They might be crispy, they might be not crispy. I have no idea, but we're going to make them like that. And yeah, so I'm going to lower you to show you how I'm chopping up these really tiny little potatoes. And then we're just gonna cook the rest of this really easy meal and just eat together. And yeah, okay, so let me lower the camera. Oh, by the way, I have my contacts in. Dun, 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 dun. I think that angle's good. So yeah, I literally had a dream about potatoes like this big. <laughs> Look how tiny that is. So I just wanna just show you a little bit of the chopping process. Let me actually get you closer. So I'm just gonna chop them really, 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 really tiny. So at first I just cut them into this shape, like that thick-ish. And then now just chopping them one way. Chopping them the other. It's gonna be like that. So I'm just gonna cut the rest of those and then we're gonna cook them. Okay, so I chopped up the rest of that potato, real tiny, and I'm heating up the pan. I just have it on like low medium-ish for now because I'm not really sure exactly what to have it on. So try it at low medium and then go from there. So just put some oil in there. And then I wanna cook the potatoes a little bit first before I add the onion. bunch of salt and then for the first couple minutes I'm gonna get like an even layer all right I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and the carrots have been in there for almost 20 minutes so I'm just gonna check on them I think they're getting close I also obviously am drinking a LaCroix <laughs> one now while I cook and probably at least one more while I'm eating I'm gonna just kind of move them around a little bit so they don't stick together I'll zoom you in a little bit how's that let me know in the comments if you've ever made potatoes like this, tiny potatoes. I've just never even thought about it before <laughs> until I had that dream. I just usually, when I make potatoes like this, they're just bigger, you know? All right, I don't wanna move them around too much because I do want them to get crispy, but I just wanna move them around a little bit so they don't stick together. Oh, you know what? I might make a fried egg. Looking at these potatoes makes me want a fried egg. So I might make that too. Okay, I think it's time to like really move them around. I know they're not done yet, but I'm gonna try one to taste the salt level. 
need a little bit more salt. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. And they are sticking together a tiny bit, so I'm just going to keep chopping at them to break that up. And now in this pan over here, I'm going to start heating up the hot dogs. Okay, so I added some water to this pan over here. I'm gonna put that on high for now to boil that water. Then I'll lower it a little bit, but I'm gonna use that to make the hot dogs. I'm just going to boil them first, especially since they're frozen. I'm gonna boil them first. And then once they're almost done, I'm actually gonna butterfly them and then cook them the rest of the way butterflied, not in the water. These are really sticking together, come on. Okay, these are doing pretty good. I think it's time to add the onion. I do want that to cook a little bit. I think there were a couple big pieces. Nope. This is tiny potato. You gotta be tiny onion too. I'm also going to put a little bit of onion powder in there. Because honestly, sometimes when I cook with onion, I don't really taste the flavor as much as I would like to. So just a little bit of onion powder. And a little bit of cayenne. Just a little. Okay, this water is starting to heat up. It's not boiling yet, but I'm still just going to put in two hot dogs. Let me know in the comments what your favorite way to make hot dogs is. I feel like that's such a random question, but I know some people boil them. I know some people obviously grill them, which is delicious. Some people just put them on the frying pan. I'm sure some people microwave them. I don't know, but sometimes I really like them boiled. And sometimes I really like them with a little bit more of like a char or something on them. I feel like I need to move this back here. Okay, these potatoes are looking good. Let's try one. Mmm, I just danced. You missed it, but I danced. That's tasting really good. Basically, once the hot dogs are cooked through, not cooked, they're already cooked. Once they're warmed through and they're thawed, then I am going to remove the water and butterfly them and then put them on. But I just want them to be not frozen anymore, you know? Okay, the hot dogs are almost there. And one more minute. All right, so I'm turning the hot dog side of the stove off for a second. Okay, I just poured the water out. And then I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I'm going to cut them. Okay, so I'm going to cut them this way. Not all the way through, but almost all the way through. I hope you can see that. I'm basically just butterflying them so that you can do this. And then I'm gonna put them like face down and get a little bit of like a char-ish. I'm also gonna lower the heat on the potatoes because they are almost done. And I'm gonna put the heat back on this pan, medium-ish. I just put them like cut side down. I'm just gonna hold them down for a little bit. Carrots are probably done. I'm just gonna shut the oven off. I'll take them out in a minute. Potatoes are done. Look at that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just gonna let them stay in the pan though. I'm just gonna shut the pan off and I'm gonna let them stay in there just to stay warm. I might actually even move the pan because it's electric so. Ooh, perfect. You see that? I'll get a close up obviously once I plate them. But I'll just do that on the other side just for a second. Okay, so the hot dogs are done. I know you can't see this, but trust me, I'm just putting them on the plate. Shut that burner off again for a second. And I'm just going to wipe this pan off because I'm gonna use that to make my egg. Just rinse it. Oh, there's a shell in there. Don't get out. Okay, got it. I'm on this side now, a little salt. Oh, the pan was off. <laughs> it was still cooking, but the pan was off. I'm just gonna put it on medium. Okay, we'll see if I can flip it like this, right? Ooh, perfect. So I'm gonna move the camera again because I gotta get the carrots out. And then I'm just gonna show you my plate of this random little dinner. There are my hot dogs. Here are my hash browns or my home fries or whatever. Hold on, I have a, a legitimate question. Is this how a lot of people make them with the potatoes this tiny? Is that common and I just have never seen it and I just had to dream about it before I even thought to try it? Okay, the egg is done. Got there. And the last thing are the carrots. 
Usually when I cook carrots, I do it on the stove, but let's see how these came out. They look good. Okay, I'm obviously putting a pickle on my plate and I'm grabbing mustard and Cholula. My dinner, my LaCroix, my second one. And I'm probably gonna put Cholula on the egg and maybe on the potatoes and then some mustard on the hot dog. A couple years ago, I became allergic to tomatoes, so I can't eat ketchup anymore. But when I used to eat ketchup, I would put ketchup on my hot dogs. But now that I can't, I use mustard, but I really did like it with ketchup. Okay, thank you guys so much for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I do wanna put a little Cholula on the potatoes, at least like half of the, half of the potatoes, not half the Cholula. <laughs> Cheers. That's good. That's really good. I really want to bite with the egg. It's kind of like breakfast and dinner <laughs> combined. The egg is perfectly runny. Those are good potatoes. They could be crispier. I could have left them on another couple minutes, but I like them how they are too. Let's try the carrots. They need more salt, I'm gonna get more salt. And even the carrots, I probably could have left in for five, 10 more minutes to really get like more caramelized, but I just like cook carrots in general, so they taste really good. I'm gonna get more salt in a second. I wanna get a bite of everything. Just a hot dog, some egg. I feel like I need a giant spoon for this, but we're gonna, we're gonna make do, we're gonna figure it out. Potatoes, and then a carrot. I need more potatoes than that. There we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's going to take me forever to chew it, but it's good. <laughs> really happy with this dinner. It is very good. It is very, very good. Mmm. The potatoes got in the yolk. Oh my goodness. That was good. I don't know if I've said this in this video. I've talked about it a lot in the past, but I do have a ton of food allergies. And so it's exciting when I can have like a bunch of different foods that I'm not allergic to. So it's like extra exciting. Okay, I'm gonna go finish my dinner and I'm gonna watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which is one of my favorite things to do while I'm eating dinner. Brooklyn Nine-Nine is one of my favorite shows and I love watching it while I'm eating. But so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I was making dinner of just stuff that I had in my fridge and my pantry and my freezer because I am going on vacation in a couple days. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.